Hey, pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sportsnet News. I'm Joe Borg, and this is going to be a preview of Team USA, led by goaltender Drew Camaso this year in net, after Spencer Knight, of course, moves on to the AHL and NHL rank. Um, now they're led by Drew Camaso in net, as they try to do what the Pittsburgh Penguins did in 16-17, the Tampa Bay Lightning did in the last two years, and most specifically in the World Juniors, Canada did in 08 and 09, be repeat champions. Well... <clears throat> Camacho, uh, Caden Mebareco, and Dylan Silverstein are no Spencer Knight. Nobody, not many American goaltenders compared to one of the guys that's supposed to be one of the next best things once he fully develops in the league and basically be potentially to the level of what their current goaltender is in Florida, Sergei Wabrowski. So not many guys compared to that. But uh, Camacho, who was drafted by the Chicago Blackhawks in the 2020 draft, was excellent in Boston University yet again. A six seven three record. That's just the record though. Two eight two goals against average at the time of when they wrote this article on the fifteenth. Um so uh he he and a nine hundred save percentage, so he is playing very solid again. He's a very technically sound goaltender. He's one of those guys that when he's on his best, uh similarly to a goaltender that the Lehigh Valley Phantoms have that I watched a lot, Sammy Arson, who unfortunately got banged up again, but he's so technically sound. Uh, it doesn't look like he even is all the all the time putting in the max effort, but he is, obviously. And he's going to be a fun guy to watch lead this American team. Um, Now, when it comes to the defense, they got Hughes and obviously Sanderson are going to be the anchors back there. But Team USA also has Brock Faber, Luke Hughes, who's a very fun prospect, obviously, uh, has his brothers Quinn and Jack, uh, Wyatt Kosser, Tyler Clevin, Ian Moore, Scott Morrow, Jack Pert and Jake Sanderson. So obviously, uh, this team can build from the defense to the offense, really protect Drew Camacho, like one of the best teams in level of protection in front of their goaltender in this tournament. And as the hockey writer said, the star power of this team truly begins on the blue line as the Americans' defense will undoubtedly be led by a couple of first-round picks in Luke Hughes and Jake Sanderson. Hughes is in the middle of a strong freshman season with the University of Michigan, where he has seven goals and 18 points through 20 games. He plays an offensive style that is reminiscent of his brother Quinn, who mans the blue line for the Canucks. Luke will probably see a great deal of quarterback time on the power play, which would be great to see him have great success there, I predict. And that being said, by no means is he a defensive liability just because his offensive side of the game is his calling card. He can create turnovers in the defensive zone, and he then transitions up the ice and into the offensive zone. If the Americans are going to go far in this year's tournament, like the, like the hockey writer said, and I agree, they would need Hughes' two-way game to be at his best. So Luke Hughes is going to be a guy, he's a huge guy to look for, that is going to step up for the Americans this year. And then Sanderson, who of course is the fifth pick of 2020 draft, is now a Senators prospect that is in his sophomore season at North Dakota. Uh, Sanderson is a returning member from last year's gold medal team, unlike Hughes, and that's something that would be great to carry into this year's team. Uh, he isn't as offensively explosive as Luke Hughes, but his two-way game is much more developed on the defensive end than Hughes, so those two guys' his anchors gel well like two peas in a pod because Luke Hughes pushes the offensive pace very well. Jake Sanderson plays a much more better, well-rounded uh, two-way game. And then other returning members from last year's squad into Kyler Clevin, another Sens prospect, so good prospects with Senator, uh, the Senators have with Sanderson and Clevin. Um, and then also Brock Faber, who's a Kings prospect, who was impressive in last year's tournament and had five points through seven games, all having them via Apples. So this team is very good defensively, very good built through their defense, going to have very good success with Faber, uh, Hughes, Sanderson, uh, Clevin, and others. Um, and then they're going to be able to protect their goaltender, Drew Camaso, who's very great and technically sound, as I already said. And then on offense, it's fairly obvious uh, who, who leads the ranks on offense for this team. They have very good uh, players like Logan Cooley in this year's uh, draft as well. But Matt, Matty Beneers uh, is going to be leading the offense in this one. It, it has a nice mix of two-way and grit with this group. Um... Beneers is uh, basically a virtual lock to be the top center, and obviously uh, he was the second overall selection and the first ever player drafted by the Seattle Kraken as they look to develop him into a two-way stud, and that is exactly what he is. He had comps to Jonathan Taze. Imagine if you can have that to start your organization as an expansion team out there in Seattle, but he's an impressive player. Brett Berard, Logan Cooley, Matt Coronado, Tanner Dickerson, Dominic James, 
uh, Matt Nyes, uh, Chaz Lucis, Carter Mazur, uh, Sasha Pastu, uh, Pastujo, uh, I always mispronounce him, uh, Mackie, Samakevich, and then Red Savage, Layden Slaggard, and then Ty Stice Malonix um, are all going to round out the offense uh, for the Americans. Um, as the only, now Veneers, unlike the defense, he's the only returning forward from last year's um, group. So he will be a guy that's relied upon, as the Hockey Warriors article I read talked about, to embark kind of leadership from the from the uh, forward group, just as Sanderson will be from the defensive group. So he's a guy that's there. They have great leaders in the forward group, and Veneers great leaders in the defensive group. And obviously a very good goaltender, Drew Camacho. Is he a Spencer Knight? No, but he is a very good goaltender. And then you also have Matt Coronado, who was the Flames' 13th pick in 2021, who's going to be helping to create the offense with Maddie Beneers out there. So it's going to be interesting to see what that group's going to be able to do. I feel like this Americans team is deep. It's one of the deepest teams uh, they have had in a while. It's not the same team as last year in net, but you have a very good defense to build up, push the pace um, there, and that's just going to help out the offense with Beneers, with Berard, with Logan Cooley, one of the better prospects in this year's draft, Lucius, um, Red Savage, one of the best names in the game. Um, and then, obviously, when you have Hughes and Sanderson, you have Clevin as well, uh, you're going to be able to do a very good job, and Scott Morrow's an underrated uh, guy to watch on the defense as well. If you can protect your goaltender and push the pace from offense to defense really well to your forwards like Beneers, Coronado, and Cooley, that's going to give you a great chance of success. I think this Americans team does have a very good chance to be able to repeat, but I'm not going to predict the repeat because that's just a jinx. But they do have a very good chance to be like Canada and also be like the Penguins or be like the Tampa Bay Lightning. So everybody have a great day and pleasant day. I hope you enjoyed uh, this recap of the Americans announcing their stacked roster for this year's World Juniors as the key competitors for the Americans are, of course, going to be the Canadians um, up north, as well as I would say, if, if depending on how they're able to do, would be Sweden and then Russia as well as overall competition as the tournament goes on. But everybody have a great same pleasant day. Peace out. And if you enjoy the content, please continue to subscribe down below on the easy to use sub button or up above on the easy to use widget at the end of the video. Enjoy all the hockey, everybody. Peace out.